It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Boston Celtics as they go up against the New York Knicks in New York. For the Knicks, after splitting their first two games of the season, tonight's game gives them a chance to get their record over the 500 mark and maybe get a little momentum on their side. And tonight, Shaq, we're going to see Gordon Hayward, one of the most versatile, talented swingmen in the league. First, Ernie, let's give this guy a, a hand clap. All right. Uh, great hand clap. You, yes. How about yeah. a round of applause? Yes, a round, round of, of applause. applause. There you go. You know, great to see him back in action. Takes a lot of courage to overcome that kind of injury. Yes, he's tireless worker, and I love his game. He makes improvements to his game every single year. So this will be a lot of fun. And now it's time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Just a single game at home. After this one, it's back on the road for the Knicks. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. They were dominated last year. Not a good matchup for them going one and three in the season series. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. And guys, this first meeting always sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the season series will play out. For teams that know each other this well, this initial game is a big one. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Boston. Irving at point with Brown to his side. They're at the backcourt. Hayward out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Horford in its center. Six to shoot. Here's Neela Kina. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Brent, we're already starting to hear some trade rumors out there. Is it ever too early to start making changes? If you talk to any good GM, it's it's never too early right. to start thinking about how can I make this roster better. Constant thought. There are some times, though, and I think we've seen this through the years, where there might be a player that's on the roster that whether there's a coaching change or his approach to the season, maybe it's a contract year and, and mentally he's not really where he needs to be, that sometimes teams examine that and think, 
we not, might need to remove this mm -hmm. now in mm -hmm. order for us to get where we need to go. And that might be some of the reasons why, Kevin, we're, we're hearing some names this early in the season. Exactly. And the basket by Knox. You saw he altered his release, allowing him to get around his defender and then laid it in. Irving kicks to Horford. Tatum with it. Now defended by Vonley. Passes it to Irving. From outside, off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Cantor, and Cantor throws it down. Can't leave anyone uncovered around Neil Aquina. He is so adept at exploiting situations like that. The pass to Horford. Outside Tatum. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Over Vonley. Tatum's shot is off. The Knicks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Pass to Lee. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Now they can't miss four for four and warming up the burners. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. There's the pick. Hayward from outside. A three-pointer is right on target. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For New York, they've gone 4 of 4 to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Irving with the steal. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Shifty with his speed. Incredible ball handling. So hard to guard Kyrie, but so thrilling to sit here and watch it all up close. The Celtics shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. That's good from Irving. And I'll tell you, Brent, a lot of distractions for the Knicks over the last few years. Well, quite a number of coaching changes, obvious changes to the front office. So that means uh, you're turning in a different direction. And, and some people in the Knicks organization really having a hard time just getting along with one another. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. Now he talks so much about rhythm from the field. How about a rhythm from the free throw line? That looks good. Cantor with a screen on Irving. Pass to Vonley. Here's Cantor. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Horford. Uh, Cantor is so hungry and has the desire to be an impact player on the glass every night. A very good low post scorer who can rebound at a high level. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That's good from Cantor. And Cantor drops them both. Such a big bonus to have a big guy that can step up to the free throw line and knock down shots. So many guys struggle from there. There's the pick. Pick by Horford. Tatum kicks to Irving. Pass to Horford. Shoots a fader. Boston again missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Von Lane. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Jason Tatum. A much improved free throw shooter from when he first came into the league. Vonley is that big you'd prefer not to send to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots.
Free throw good. Vonley. And both free throws good for Vonley. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Brown the pass to Horford. Shoots over Cantor. Boston, no good that time either. The Knicks leading by five. Here's Nilakina. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Proving he belongs in this league. Nilakina getting better at taking contact and finishing. Horford kicks to Tatum. There's the screen. The pass to Irving from past the arc. It's good from long range. Irving's got five now. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. It's good. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Celtics trail by six. Pass to Horford. Tatum with it. Now defended by Vonley. Pass to Irving. Lee with the steal. Here's Knox. Unable to get that one. Hayward with some nice D. Tatum passes to Irving. Horford kicks to Tatum. It's deflected. Well, you notice the length there from Vonley allowing him to get that shot block. Here's Nilakina. He's covered by Irving. Cantor, the pass to Nilakina. They set the pick the screen. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Irving kicks to Horford. Pick by Horford. Tatum passes to Hayward. Tatum setting the pick for Hayward. And he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Hayward's got his second bucket of the night. And a tremendous opportunity for David Fisdale to re-energize his coaching career. Just that short stint he had in Memphis. He's a smart guy, a ton of charisma, which, of course, the New York fans are going to react to and uh, try to rework this roster and find some talent and push forward. Here's Lee after Gordon Hayward's bucket. Just three to shoot. Courtney Lee, the journeyman, continues to excel no matter where it is that he unpacks his bags. The Knicks have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good for the Knicks. Hardaway's checked in for Knox. And it's Burke in for Nilakina. Marcus Marks checked in for Boston. And both free throws good for Lee. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Outside Irving. Over Burke. Irving can't get it to go. New York leading by eight. Up top Burke. He's covered by Irving. Down low. It's deflected. And stolen by Horford. And here comes Hayward leading the fast break. Knocks it loose. Lee with the steal. An even three on three break. And stolen by Hayward. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
And you like to see that from Horford. He never gives up on the offensive glass, which allows him to get pretty easy looks like that one at the basket. Now here is Hardaway. Back to Canner. The feet to Vonley. Five on the clock. Here's Lee and Hayward with the block. Feeds it to Tatum. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And now just a four-point Knicks lead. The Knicks have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Work kicks to Hardaway. The Knicks rebound. Tries again. On late. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Knicks lead by six. This is a kid who loves to play. Vonley working hard on the offensive boards, then going into a myriad of moves that he's been developing for the score. Now here's Hayward. 20 points for him last game against the Raptors in Toronto. You love a good mid-range game. We don't see it that much, but I know you have a couple guys you think have a pretty strong mid-range game. You know, Chris Paul still has dominated the mid-range, uh, Kevin. It was interesting because him joining the Houston Rockets, who it's all about threes and layups. Daryl Morey, I think, recognized we need somebody that can come off the pick and roll and make those kind of plays happen, not only at the rim for Capella, but shoot it himself. So Chris Paul still dominates in the mid-range. Kawhi Leonard has shown some skills at the mid-range, even though last year, obviously, just nine games, he's still a dangerous weapon. It'll be interesting to see if that's still part of his arsenal for this season. And then C.J. McCollum has been one of the best mid-range scorers in the league for the Portland Trailblazers over the past couple of seasons. The Knicks making a switch here. As Anya's checked in, the Celtics also changing it up. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. Marcus Morris comes in for Tatum. And it's Rozier in for Irving. Hayward hits them both. New York leading by four. And now here's Hazonia coming in off a 12 point game, his last outing. Inside. Here's Von Lane. He can't get that one to fall. Now Boston takes it the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Well, good collective team unity. Everyone pitching in, so trying to win for one another. That's a good thing. Now, here is Morris. Following the miss shot by Noah Vonley. Morris. And too long on the shot. For New York, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Here's Hazania. Knicks working now with a fresh shot clock. Smart against Hardaway. Another shot. A shot off that time. Good work defensively by Smart. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, earlier I spoke with Brad Stevens, and it's all about pace tonight. He said, we're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it too. Those are pretty bold words, Kevin. We'll see if they can deliver. Thank you, David. Knox, he's checked in for Noah Vonley. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Celtics. Now, here's Burke. He's covered closely. To the paint. New York shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Moutier, he's checked in for New York. Checking in for your next. Emmanuel Moutier. Ah. 
Morris passes to Baines. And he makes good on the layup. Baines has got his first bucket of the night. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's Cantor. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. He gets it in there. That's a hard-nosed play from Hardaway, absorbing contact and not taking no for an answer. Celtics trail by six. More as a screen. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. It's rebounded by New York. Coming off that loss against the Nets. And, you know, you, you have to feel terrible about how that thing turned out. I mean, the game was really going about as expected until they just gave up that huge surge there late in the game. Totally lost momentum and ended up losing that. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Now, here's Rogier, defended by Moutier. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he makes the first. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. Baker, he's checked in for New York. And Morris drops them both. There's 117 left in the first quarter. Out to the right wing. Kicks it to Moody. They set the screen. There's Baker, guarded by Smart. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Cantor, the pass to Knox, and it's good, two points. Knox has got six points. Like the execution there from Cantor, usually likes to score, this time with the pass. Outside, Smart. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And no doubt that Marcus Smart is one of the better defenders at his position. Quick feet are complemented by that strong frame, and he just digs in and, and against would-be scorers and just never lets them get comfortable. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. New York leading by seven. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Cantor with a screen on Rogier. Here's Moutier. He feeds it to Cantor. And Baines pulls it down. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Smart. Nine point game is last outing. Morris outside, five on the clock. Offensive rebound. Terrific score there off the miss by Morris. Doesn't get a ton of offensive rebounds, but making that one count. We've got more in store for you right after this.
One of the league's best point guards, Kyrie Irving, had this to say about his competition. In 2011, I came into a league where the point guard position was still being revolutionized, and now guys are solidifying that spot every single year. There are young guys coming in, but now we have established point guards that are franchise-changing point guards. And for me, having that competitive drive every single game, I know I'm going against an elite point guard every single game. So I think that now coming into the league is a lot different than it was before. Some say, Greg, a golden age at the point guard position. Yeah, and Irving right there with the best of them. Uh, he embraces the challenge. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Such a great way to get yourself into an offensive groove and build up some early confidence. On the floor for Boston, we've got Terry Rozier. Also, Marcus Smart is out there. Aaron Baines out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Tice in at the power forward position. Pazonia with the ball. Morris is there. Baker kicks to Moody. That one, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Smart. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Cantor, and the basket is good. Cantor's got six. A reliable finisher who can score in a multitude of ways. Cantor is a tough cover down low. Rogier the pass to Morris. Back to Rogier. There's a screen. Over Moutier, and another basket for Boston. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Baker kicks to Hazania. There's a screen by Canner. Up off the screen and finished off by Hazonia. And how about the execution on that play? The screen was set up in exactly the right spot. <laughs> and the finish wasn't too bad either. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how you see so many picks, but this one sets up the defense well. No one rotates over. Bang. Here's Morris. A rebound by Hazania. New York leading by three. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. He tries for three. Misses his second shot in four attempts from the field. The Celtics have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Swiped it away. Now here's Moutier. Rogier defending. Canner high post. They set the pick. Cantor with a screen on Morris. Passes it to Knox. Shot clock at six. And there's another one for the Knicks. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Now Rogier. He had 19 points in the win against Toronto. That one's in there. The Knicks lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Smart. Moutier pass to Cantor. Back to Moutier. Cantor high post. Back to Moutier. Just four to shoot. There's a screen by Cantor. Goes up on the wing. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Moutier's got his first two points of the night. Rozier with the ball. That's tipped. And a fast break now for New York. And finished off by Hezonia. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. So the Celtics called timeout their first. Last season, Brent, the addition of two-way contracts. 
Does that make uh, developing players in the G League even more valuable than it was before? I believe last year, Kevin, that almost 50% of the players in the league, and it might have been a smidge more, had some kind of G League experience. It's terrific. And that's phenomenal. Yes. We're almost close to the 30 for 30 affiliation in the G League. You saw a success story last year in Quinn Cook coming up and getting a contract with the Warriors. This is awesome for the league. They've also upped the minimum contract for G League players to $35,000. All of these signs and the way that teams are using the G League, extremely positive, Kevin. Here's Burke. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, he's also crafty with how he approaches it. Right there, he uses just the right move to lay it in. Here's Irving, and it's Boston with another. Nice mid-range J. Automatic, it looks like, for Kyrie Irving right now. The Knicks leading by five. Or kicks to Lee. Here's the pass to Vonley. Here's Baker. Here's the screen. Shot clock at five. The wide open look here for Vonley. Nice open look, but it's no good. Now here's Tatum. Defense right on him. Pass to Irving. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Kyrie shooting that kind of floater right there just makes him so much more devastating as a scorer. Burke, the pass to Vonley. And it's sent back by Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. So for the Knicks, Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Courtney Lee. And Frank Neely Kinas subbed in for Ron Baker. Pass to Knox. They set the pick. And it's sent back by Horford. Al Horford positioning himself perfectly and swats that shot away. Irving. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, for so long, so many were wondering what Kyrie was thinking when he left Cleveland. What is clear now, though, is that Irving doesn't think about it and has flourished on his own. It seems that he really did just need his own team to become the player he's become. First one falls for him. And for Irving, he has let more of his personality come out on and off the floor, Greg, now that he has his own team. Yeah, it really does feel like we are watching a new chapter in Irving's development as a player. Still has the great shot and handles that make him so deadly with the ball. And, and, and just visually, while the leadership is also evolving, he just seems more in control of his game and, and even more lethal as a player. They set the pick. Passes it to Knox. And here is Burke. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Hayward against Hardaway. Hayward dishes to Irving. Oh, Tatum in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Man, and Tatum gets up on these alley-oops. Has a great grasp of when to attack and exploit the opponent. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Yeah, it's a good time to talk things over. Try to stop what's been a brutal run. Yeah, he's got to use every device at his disposal at this point. And I, I think he wants to give other guys a breather right now. Now, here's Burke, covered by Irving. New York, no good that time either. All the time in the world to get that one off. And Hayward gets it to go. 
Well, this guy is so tough to guard. He feels like he could take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at him. In the corner, Hardaway with it. And the pass to Neely Kina. Hayward against Hardaway. Five to shoot. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Hardaway has got his third basket of the night. And Tim Hardaway Jr. finding a little bit of wiggle room behind the screen and up and fires away. Picked by Horford. Pass to Irving. Horford sets a screen for Irving. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Noah Vonley. The Celtics have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. That one is off. And in the 2016-17 season, Kyrie hit better than 90% of his free throws. That is a terrific percentage. And New York making a change here. Cantor's checked in. He hits the second from the line. New York's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Pass to Knox. To the paint. Nine feet out. Cantor kicks to Hardaway. Here's Knox. Guarded by Tatum. Knox misses. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Count it. Good. And the Celtics lead by four. And, and the craftiness of Brown. Just so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball hand. Passes to Hardaway. Here's Knox. Here's the screen. He kicks to Burke. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Yeah, this is the feel of a player to use his body to keep the shot from being blocked. Excellent work there. One shot. And that one misses. And here's Boston. They're on a 15 to 6 run. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three pointers and two pointers tonight for the Knicks. And really, the long ball hadn't been a big factor for him. Not, not a lot of attempts, not a lot of makes either. Nothing wrong, though, with probing inside on days when the shots aren't falling. The free throw drops by Hayward. Hayward hits them both. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Trailing by four. Next up for them, the Bucks in Milwaukee. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. So a moment now to see the story on Kyrie Irving. Coming off a terrific season. Seventh in free throw percentage. And of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket. Top ten in scoring. And again, you got to love his commitment to excellence. He owns the free throw line. It's truly an impact part of his game. And that one falls for Burke.
So he hits one of two from the strike. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Neely Kina kicks to Burke. Here's Knox, guarded by Tatum. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Neela Kina. Size and strength advantage of Ennis Cantor quite evident on that screen. The screen from Brown. Irving with a clean look. Off target from outside. I think what I'd like to see from him in this quarter is getting going from the perimeter. Hit a three in the first, nothing in the second. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Brown right side. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Offensive rebound. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Horford's got his second basket of the night. Knicks trail by three. Burke the pass to Neely Kina. Here's Knox, guarded by Tatum. There's a good screen. Lock at six. Here's Neela Kina. Some solid defense from Brown. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there. Carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Neely Kina kicks to Burke. And there's the pass to Knox. There's a screen by Cantor. Free throw line jump shot. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Knox. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Pick by Horford. Tatum setting the pick for Hayward. And another basket for Boston. Yeah, the onslaught continues. He's been unstoppable now for a couple of nights. Well, a tip of the cap to the coaching staff here. They're recognizing how well he's playing, so the game plan has been built around him. Ah, that floater is a thing of beauty, effective when it's used the right way. Picked by Horford. Irving passes to Horford. Here's Hayward. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. Yeah, sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. Poked away. Neely Kina kicks to Burke. New York needs to get off a shot. They get it again. Out to Hardaway. Now, here's Burke. Defense is right there. Second shot opportunity. No good that time. Hayward with some nice D. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Celtics lead by three. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know guys are in a in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 14 points, two assists, and one steal. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They were really efficient on offense. Shared the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. Shaq, what did you think about New York? Well, the reserves came in and played like starters. Gave them some big points off the bench. 
It'll be no surprise to see them get more minutes in the second half. They definitely deserve it. Though sometimes when you get more minutes, you get exposed. We shall see. And that should do it with the second half about to begin. Let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. The skyline of Midtown Manhattan so beautifully lit up tonight as we welcome you back to New York City. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, great job from him in that first half of drawing fouls and getting to the line. Well, that is a great equalizer here. You want him to play that physical, but how do you do that without creating too much contact? We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Boston leading by three. Nilakina and Lee are in the backcourt. Lon Lay's out there with Ennis Cantor, and it's Knox in at the three slot. That's the five for New York right now. That freed up. Nice work off the pick. And that's 17 points for Kyrie Irving. Yeah, that's one of the more dangerous shots. The form, the quick release, everything for Kyrie in sync. Knox, the pass to Vonley. It's stolen by Brown. Yep, it counts. Brown's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. Exactly. That's the kind of possession ending with an easy one right at the bucket that you love to get early on. Builds confidence for the entire team. Pass to Vonley. Pass to Nilekina. Clock at four. Shot from 16. Here's Cantor. And the puck accounts. Three-point chance here. And using that big body to create space, Cantor does a great job there cleaning the glass. And sometimes it seems the age of interior scoring big men has come and gone. Ennis Cantor, one of the rare big men who can dominate a game offensively in the paint, great hands and the strength to create space. That's good from Cantor. And you talk about Cantor's inside game, but he's got a solid jump shot. It looks very comfortable all the way out to 20 feet. I think before long, we may see him add a three-point shot to his repertoire. Tatum with a screen on Lee. And it's Brown missing. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yep, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Tatum passes to Horford. Lays it up off the glass. Horford's got six. Yeah, couldn't have asked for a better start to the second half, minus that one miss. Three of four now from the field right now in the second half. Here's Neela Kina. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Irving kicks to Hayward. At the elbow, Horford. There's the screen. The three from Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Nila Kina gets the bucket. And one area where Nila Kina excels, really good reading the defense and realizing what to do in that set. Picked by Horford. Tatum passes to Irving. A three-pointer off the mark. Knicks trail by four. Lee outside. Cantor sets the pick for Lee. 
It's stolen by Brown. Hayward goes in. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And as a wing player, Hayward's just so good at attacking the basket. I think that's a big part of what makes him special. Doesn't take much of an opening for Hayward to make his move. Tipped away. And here's the fast break. Neely Kina kicks to Vonley. Neely Kina passes to Lee. Al Horford with the rebound. Celtics leading by six. Left side Tatum. That shot off. Lee against Brown. Lee outside. They set the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up on the elbow. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his third rebound on the night. Right side, Irving. Hayward trying to get open. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Brown. Brown's got three assists now in this one. Here's Nilakina. 14 points for him. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, I know the defense has five guys, but collectively they're no match for this guy. He is roasting them. A different look for New York. Mario Hezonia's checked in for Knox. Ron Baker comes in for Lee. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Nilakina. And then for Boston. Aaron Baines comes in for Al Horford. And Daniel Tice subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Here's Baker. And the Knicks miss again. Celtics leading by eight. Irving kicks to Tice. Right side, Irving. Over Moutier. The shot's good from Irving. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, I just don't think that Kyrie gets bothered by anybody that's up in his airspace. Such a good look there. Over to the left wing. There's a screen by Canner. Here's Baker. To stop the drought. A second chance effort. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Ennis Cantor. And it's not a secret. Cantor is a major factor on the offensive glass thanks to his size, strength, and excellent hands. Back to Brown. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Now let's take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Fifth on the list, and it's Cantor. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. That one is off. And you know, Ron Baker, a guy who always seems, Brent, to be fighting for a roster spot. Man, a walk-on in college, went undrafted, but then really had a great summer league and steadily improving his game. That's the amazing thing, that it, at his age, uh, adds something to his game every offseason. And those instincts, both on the floor and off, have given him an opportunity in the NBA. And he ends up missing both free throws. Smart goes in. Irving for three. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. Knicks trail by eight. Here's Baker. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Kicks to Moody yet. Conley setting the pick for Moutier. Six on the shot clock. Here's Cantor. And he can't bank that one in. Austin leading by eight. Outside Irving. 
In the corner, Tatum with it. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D from Cantor. Hezonia kicks to Moutier. What's interesting about Moutier is how cavernous the gap is uh, between the strengths and weaknesses that he has. On the plus side, he creates shots for himself, but how many of those shots is he actually going to make? Uh, the other part about his game, though, is his distribution is pretty solid. So if he plays in the pick and roll, he can find teammates. The first one falls. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Terry Rozier's checked in for the Celtics. Both free throws good from Moutier. Boston laden by six. Now, here's Rozier. Shot on the wing. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Another thing about Moutier, really good on-ball defender. That marks him. Well, a better defender when his man's in front of him and not as good at chasing guys through screens. He seems to either get bumped off route or try to take shortcuts that, that cost him. But offensively is where it is he needs to just be better at decision-making and, and get that jump shot to be more consistent. Tatum kicks to Rozier. There's a screen. Morris outside. But they'll get another chance. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Knicks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. On defense, New York. Pass to Rozier. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Tatum. Over his own young. That misses off the backboard. Knicks trail by six. For the three. And the pass to Canner. New York moving the ball around. Jacks up a three. Buries it from three-point range. Azania's got his third basket of the night right there. The defender must have felt like he ran into a brick wall right there. Really great screen set to give his teammate the wide open shot. Ogier the pass to Tatum. In the corner, Smart with it. Connects from three-point range. Smart's got 10 points in the game. And how about that floor awareness there from Tatum? It does a good job of scanning the court and getting the ball to the open man. Outside Hardaway. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Nine points in the game so far. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Now, here's Rogier. Hazonia defending. Rogier kicks to Baines. The baseline J. Smart misses. Knicks trail by three. Now Hazonia. Seven points in the game. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. Right, big scoring run fueled by great game planning and really some great shot making. Burke, he's checked in for Emmanuel Moutier. And the Celtics also making a change. Horford's checked in. And it's tied up with that one. Rozier with the ball. 
He kicks it to Horford. Now, here is Morris. He's guarded closely. Just five on the clock. They get a hand on it. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Celtics lead by three. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Burke, the pass to Cantor. Dishes it to Hardaway. Back to Cantor. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Cantor sets the pick for Hardaway. Goes back up. Good work defensively by Horford. Well, he's gotten shots up, but they're not finding the rim. The squad's suffering because of it right now. A bit out of rhythm. You, know, you have to be ready for this. Defensively, Morris has a terrific pull-up. Maybe a better choice for him than taking it to the rack. Burke dishes to Hardaway. And Vonley has it in the corner. Hizonia on the wing. Covered by Morris. That's him, and the Celtic lead is cut back down to three after the basket from Hizonia. You know, you hear that A word all the time, aggressive, and sometimes just being that can turn your game around. He's been that in the second half, their go-to guy here. Smart kicks to Morris. Pass to Tatum. Plays it up and banks it in. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. And I like the fact that Tatum has not abandoned the inside game. Solid at finding space around the rim to score. There's a screen by Cantor. Cantor with a screen on Tatum. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Hardaway Jr. with a show of strength who got to the inside there and then converted through the contact. And Tim Hardaway Jr. returning to New York with a four-year, $71 million contract that surprised many. He's got to shoot better than he did last season to be worth that kind of money. Knox, he's checked in for the Knicks. Lee comes in for Mario Hizonia. That free throw good from Hardaway. Growing up in the Bay Area, I worked out a lot and spent a lot of time with Tim Hardaway Sr. Remember the killer crossover. And Tim Hardaway Jr. continues to show why he belongs in the league after a lot of hard work on his own. Horford trying to free himself up. Morris, no good. Well, the team is still up despite him struggling, so hopefully he'll find his rhythm. That gives them the lead. Lee's got seven. He's got no problem shooting off the pass. Trusting his teammates will get it to him. Hayward on the wing. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Rogier's got three assists now in this one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Austin on top. They're up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Now let's listen into the huddle of Brad Stevens. We talked about it in the pregame. We have to play with game awareness and poise. Run back on defense, get great shots down here every single possession. And that message you can tell, GA, all about quality and efficiency. Yeah, and when they get stops on defense, let's Coach go, Stevens man. wants to make sure they are taking great shots. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. On the court right now for the Celtics. Hayward and Morris, your small and power forwards. Rogier is out there with Smart. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Horford sets a screen for Rogier. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Ah, that floater is a thing of beauty, effective when it's used the right way. 
Rozier's gone two or three from the field. Pass to Knox. Outside Hardaway. And Boston with the rebound. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And a look now at the Boston Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. In that matchup against the Bucks, there aren't two many shots. other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. And that one falls for Smart. Frank Neely Keen has checked in for Trey Burke. And so, Smart nails both of them. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Neely Keene kicks to Vonley. He dishes it to Hardaway. And again, New York with the triple. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. And here is Rogier. No good off the back of the rim. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. Well, we talk about the D. Let's credit the offense. He attacked right there from the moment he saw the opening, not letting the defense react. Neely Kina kicks to Hardaway. Passes to Knox. Good work defensively by Morris. Austin's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Hayward outside. Over Hardaway. Hayward can hit. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Hardaway, no good. Ah, the human aspect of basketball. You cannot fault the shot selection. He had a clean look. You just can't make them all. And he makes the bucket, drew contact, and gets the whistle, too. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Irving's checked in for Rozier. One shot. And that one falls for Smart. The Knicks have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Neely Kina kicks to Hardaway. They set the pick. It's stolen by Morris. Here's Irving. Softly drops in the floater. Irving's got 23. Feel like the jump ball triggered Kyrie Irving. He's been on it with tremendous effort from the beginning. The pass to Hardaway. Here's Knox. Defended by Hayward. Back to Hardaway to end the run. Buries the long-range jumper. Hardaway has got 15 points here in the second half. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Timeout, timeout. See Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making Sorry. sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And sometimes you just want a reminder of what our objectives are tonight. Yeah, get everyone on the same page and pointed in the right direction. 
Boston making some changes. Tatum comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Fisdale said to the team. He told them, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Yeah, and I love how strong Tatum is finishing through the contact there. He's shown a real toughness in terms of when he gets in attack mode. Here's Knox. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Celtics with the lead. Here's Irving. Over in the corner, Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. That's seven points for Jalen Brown. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. Here's Knox, guarded by Horford. Conley setting the pick for Lee. Lock at six. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. So much to like about Courtney Lee and the consistency with which he brings his lunch pail to the job. A high character guy has played in some big time games, plays with toughness, and plays very disciplined. Great guy to have on the roster. He's off on the first. And since Lee entered the league, almost half of his total shots, Brent, have been from three. Yeah, well, that's his game. He's relied upon it to help out spacing offenses, and he takes good shots. That's what I like about Courtney Lee. Almost 40% for his career from the three-point line. Ennis Canners checked in for New York. And he sinks the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Irving passes to Tatum. Back to Irving. Stolen away. One on one here. Here's Neela Kina. Off the left rim and out. Boston leading by four. Brown inside. It's tipped. Lee against Brown. A drive by Lee. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It goes on Jason Tatum. That free throw from Lee is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Boston's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. Left side, Irving. Rebounded by Hardaway. New York trailing.
to tie it up. And the layup is up and in. Hardaway has got 11 here in this quarter alone. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Irving for three. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Well, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Neely Keene kicks to Cantor. Hard away against Hayward. And stolen by Irving. Poked away. Here's Horford. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, anytime he gets it down low, that's where he's going to feast. That's his bread and butter. Neely Kina passes to Hardaway. Cantor with a screen on Hayward. Here's Hardaway. That shot misses. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Over in the corner, Brown. A three-pointer, no good. Knicks trail by five. Here's Lee. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Jalen Brown. At the line for your Knicks, Courtney Lee. Two shots. And the first one drops. Knox, he's checked in for New York. And both free throws good for Lee. Now, here is Irving. Picked by Horford. Out to Hayward. Another shot. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position. You could see the frustration on his face. And stolen by Tatum. Back to Irving. Brown right side. And finished off by Brown. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Neely Kina kicks to Vonley. Pass to Kanner. They set the pick. Here's Neely Kina from 13. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. It's rebounded by Vonley. Knicks trail by five. Irving with the steal. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Tatum lead the charge. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. New York's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Lee outside. There's a screen by Cantor. Just three to shoot. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Lee. Lee's got seven points for the quarter. Outside Irving. Clanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Irving's got 28. And Kyrie right now taking it to another level. We know he's capable. There's a screen by Kanner. Teardrop shot. Nila Kina gets the bucket. Upping his leadership skills over time. When Nila Kina has the ball in a big spot, not afraid to go for it. Brown the pass to Horford. Back to Brown. Lee against Brown. Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. Well, as a coachable guy with a very positive attitude, Cantor has to be feeling good. 
on that shot. Austin's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Picked by Horford. There's the pick to the inside. He with the block, and he recovers it. Good. Time, time call time here. Out. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Hezanya, he's checked in for Knox. Hardaway is subbed in for Lee. Hardaway kicks to Neely Kina. Pass to Canner. Over Horford. Passes it to Vonley. Lays it up and banks it in. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Outside Irving. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his seventh assist here tonight. Knicks trail by four. Hezonia kicks to Cantor. Over Horford. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Critical moment there. Vonley taking it upon himself to score. That's a leader starting to emerge. Outside Irving. The pass to Brock. Hardaway with the steal. And a fast break now for New York. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And you know they wanted that one to go down. Man, that's just tough because that would have tied up the score. That's a tough one to swallow here in the fourth. Now that is the play of the game. Nothing more rewarding than hitting the big shot for your team. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. Well, he's made some big shots dating back to his playing days in Europe. Cantor coming through here in the clutch. Brown dishes to Irving. He's looking for Horford and finds him. And that's why Horford makes the big bucks. But don't they all? He knows how to deliver a huge shot in the clutch. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. Hey, you got to play mistake free. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're behind by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Knicks making a switch here. Knox has checked in. Austin on D. They've led by as much as 10. Big time bucket there. And guys, you don't have to tell these fans how important that shot was. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And now we've got the intentional foul. Gets the first, and that makes it a three point lead. So he goes two for two at the lot, and it's a four point ball game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two possession game. The clock's ticking. They got to get up a shot. Yeah, and then you have to foul right away on the inbounds. Maybe the first person who touches the ball. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Shooting for Boston. Jason Tatum. At the line for two. Shooting two.
First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And it's about the versatility that Tatum offers, particularly offensively. He can guard and play multiple positions on the floor. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. A tons of credit there on the focus level to stay calm in a huge moment, and he ices the game. Knox misses. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, we're at an early part of the season, but what did you want to accomplish tonight individually and in the team flow? We just wanted to come out here and compete and you know, get the win. We wanted to set a standard for ourselves. The most important thing was just coming out here and competing for my teammates and you know, doing whatever possible to get this win. And you all did that tonight. Thanks, Kyrie. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.